When I first read the script, I thought it was really, really well written. And I also was drawn to just the reality that it was based in and that all these really bizarre and horrific things start happening to her. So what happened to me? Honestly, we're not sure. The relationship with her daughter, which I found fascinating, and, you know, that kind of intense fear of, is this happening to my daughter as well? And is told in kind of a very traditional supernatural horror film. A third into it, I go, I really don't want to read this script because I'm so scared. And that was a really good sign. And um, I thought it was just, just a really well-crafted, wonderful horror film. Terrifying. That's always good in a read, actually, because often scripts don't lift off the page. You don't get a sense as strongly as I did when I first read this of what it was. I was told it was a scary movie and I was like, Oh, spooky. <laughs> and I was really excited. And we spent uh, sort of four hours a day, twice a week, just brainstorming different horror ideas, talking about what scared us. Looking at our favourite horror films and what it was about them that not only scared us, but actually made them engaging as films in their own right. So um, we're a big fan of like The Exorcist, The Ring, um, the grudge. We came up with about seven or eight ideas for, for feature films and what became the surrogate was the one that we got most excited about. We know the moment we came up with that we're like we're really onto something now. This is really exciting and fresh. One thing that really annoys me about films is when they don't make sense and horror films are like case in point. It's just kind of people go yeah but we'll just put a scare in and people just be scared and they'll forget that this doesn't make sense. But people don't forget. What I wanted was it to be a really good piece of drama in amongst all of this horror. On my phone after work one day just going through it and I didn't leave for two hours because I just had to finish it. I couldn't actually stop. I loved the relationship between the mother and the child. Like to me it was sort of very, um, reminded me of like Babadook. It's a horror film but for me that relationship was kind of at the heart of it. And I knew that he was getting together a cast of very, very good actors. I knew that that was what was important to the director. So when Kesty came on board, uh, initially we had a bunch of Zoom meetings. First of all, talking about scene by scene what's happening in the story and what the intent and purpose of each of those scenes were. So then when we got into rehearsals, she just threw herself so deeply into the role, was so organised, so professional. There's a lot of those actors I hadn't met before and I just met them for the first time at rehearsal and it really struck me how just how good everyone was. When David told me, I said, have you heard of not, Don't Work With Animal Children? I've got three of them here. One of them, one of them's headache, three of them could be really difficult. We needed a, an actress who was somewhere between seven and ten years old who could play big scenes with lots of dialogue but significant shifts in emotion. One of them was Tatius and I remember watching it and straight away going, we have our rows. They're all very, very professional. They, they, it's, impre it's impressive. Mum, can you tell me more about the story? Because I know nothing about it. And she's like, she, she'll tell you later or something. And she didn't tell me it because she thinks I'm going to get nightmares. She's a really loving person and she cares a lot for her family, like her mum. And I relate to her because I love caring for my family. What a little firecracker. I mean, she was wonderful to work with. Everything always felt spontaneous with her and you don't get that from a lot of, you know, adult actors. It always felt like she was having fun with what she was doing. Heavy emotional scenes, um, a lot of SFX makeup, um, children and pets. I must say I've never done anything as gruelling. There's so many intense scenes in it. Physically there was a lot to do. There were long days and they were um, intense days and I'm like, crying for like 80% of it. Oh no! <laughs> I loved working with Kesty. Not one take did she give one inch less than she gave the take before. Uh, every actor on that set was equally important to her. She was just perfect. 
perfect for the film. Dave was awesome. You get so excited about things. He's so enthusiastic about what he's doing and the story and, um, you know, the genre. Um, I think he's really kind of knowledgeable about that genre. He gave me direction on little moments. I love that David really knew what he wanted and he was able to, um, to just ask for that. And, you know, if you're an actress and come very prepared, then you can just go with it. Ava was a girl who could see spirits. What are different ways to do a seance that isn't the Ouija board situation um, that we've seen before in other films? And Beth's research uncovered this internet phenomenon known as the Three Kings ritual. So we decided to take that as our inspiration and create our own version of that. We had two mirrors and we, I worked with the art team to sort of prepare those for the scene. Whatever you do, do not look into these mirrors. They don't always like to be seen. David explained to me how they're going to shoot it and without the CGI and things. So this, my understanding is going to be done the old-fashioned way. So it'll be great to see that, just pure camera play. Is that what you're hiding from? Ah! Ah! Yes, stop it, stop it. Ava? Ah! And it was a stunning, like, cinematically beautiful shot. I hope the audience will be scared. For one thing, I mean, it's a horror. I want them to be terrified. I think the idea of it and what it's about is just so fantastic. Um, it's so scary. Worry for those characters and be sad and traumatized and terrorized watching it. I hope that they can appreciate the film of it. Satisfied that it makes sense at the end. I hope it's a film that, you know, people that love horror will want to see. And I'd like audiences to come away from it feeling like they've just seen a really good film. Cut, great!